Hi, this is Mrs. Jackson. This is Chapter 3, Section 2, Part 1. In this quick video, we're going to review how to add and subtract polynomials. To combine polynomials, we combine like terms. And like terms have the exact same variable with identical exponents. And what actually allows us to combine like terms is the distributive property. A lot of people don't think about it that way, but that is what's happening. I'm going to abbreviate property here. So in this example below, I have identical variables with identical exponents. I have a variable a with a power of 2 and a variable b. So I'm going to factor out that using the distributive property in reverse. So I'm going to take out a squared b. And what I would have left is a negative 4 plus 1. If I combine those uh, two constants, I have a squared b. And I have a negative 3 inside the parentheses. And just by convention, we put that coefficient in front of the variable terms. So uh, the distributive property is what's allowing us to combine like terms. All right, so how do we use that and uh, combine larger polynomials? Well, the first example that I have here is I have one big polynomial here uh, grouped together in a set of parentheses, and I have addition of another big polynomial. Mathematically, these uh, parentheses really aren't doing anything. We're just trying to group one polynomial being added to another. So that's really what's happening here. But those parentheses mathematically really aren't doing anything for us. They do not mean, for instance, um, multiplication of any kind. So we could drop them completely. And the first thing we're going to do is start to line everything up in standard form. So I'm looking for my highest exponent. And I have a power of 4 here, and I have no other terms with a power of 4. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one up front, 4x to the 4th power. And I like to cross things out as I go um, so that I am not dropping any uh, terms and I'm not forgetting any terms. The next uh, highest power we have is a cube here. And there again, there are no other terms to combine with that. So I'm going to put the 5x cubed next. And I'm looking for powers of 2 now. Um, and I see a couple of them. So I have, um, let me change color here. I have this negative 3x squared. And I have a positive 7x squared, and I'm careful to note the signs in front of them. Negative 3x squared plus 7x would give us positive 4x squared. We combine the coefficients, keeping the variable term and exponent the same. And next, we're looking for x to the power of 1 terms. And we've got a few of them, so I've got negative 6x plus 1x, plus 2x. So if I combine all of those, I'll have negative 5x plus 2x would give us negative 3x. And I'm just going to cross all of those out as I use them. And finally, we will combine our constants. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. All right, let's take a look at uh, how we subtract polynomials. First thing to note here, we have two variables this time, an x and a y, which does add some complication in putting in standard form. We'll talk about that in a sec. Um, but again, the parentheses are grouping one polynomial from another. So I have polynomial one here, and from it we are subtracting polynomial two. Because we are subtracting, however, um, this, this subtraction does have an impact here. Um, it's kind of like a negative 1 distributing to every term after it. And so when I drop my parentheses, well, the first polynomial, I could just drop the parentheses. It's really not doing anything for us mathematically. So I'm just going to rewrite polynomial 1 
dropping the parentheses. But when I uh, break out all the terms from polynomial 2, I need to change every term's sign. So this will become a negative 3x squared y squared. The negative 9 becomes a positive 9. And the positive 7 becomes a negative 7. Okay, so same rules apply. We can combine the coefficients of the terms with the exact same variables at the same exponents. So let's combine like terms first, and then we'll put it in standard form um, at the end. So I've got this first term here is an x squared and a y squared, and I'm going to look across to see if I have any other term that has that same, and I do. So let me go ahead and circle these. That's a positive, and this is a minus 3x squared y squared. So 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. You could put the negative 1 or you could just drop it and definitely cross things out as you use them. All right, the next thing in line is an x squared, I'm sorry, an x y squared term. And so let's see if we've got anything else to combine that with. And I do, I have a uh, negative seven x y squared term. So three minus seven would be negative four. And cross it out as you use them. And finally, I have an x squared y in two different places. So I'm going to combine those. I've got negative 5 plus 9 would be a positive 4. Okay, so how do we put this in standard form? Well, there are two rules to consider. And the first is, what is the sum of the exponents of the term? So we want to put that in descending order of the sum of the exponents. And so um, we're going to go ahead and find those sums right now. So in this first term, I've got a 2 here and a 2 here. The sum of those exponents is a 4. I'm going to write that, and I'm going to circle it above it just to... Um, note that that is a total of 4 in the exponents. The next term has an invisible 1 on the x and a 2 on the y, so this would be a 3. And the final term is 2 on the x and a 1 on the y, so this is also a 3. So we're going to put this in um, descending order of the sum, and so this first term is right where it belongs. It is the highest sum of, negative, uh, of 4, so we have negative 1, x squared, y squared. Now, both of these two terms here also have, they have the same sum of 3. So which one goes first? Now you look at the alphabet. x is before y in the alphabet, and so we're going to put the term that has the highest exponent on x. And so that last term is going to move to the middle because of the alphabet. And finally, we're going to move the middle term to the end. And so this is how you put a polynomial with two variables in standard form. All right, so in this video, we reviewed how to uh, combine, that means addition and subtraction of polynomials. And we also learned how to write a polynomial in standard form with two variables. Hope this video helps. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe.